Okay, this is uh, Robert with one more video from our bucket list trip back east to New York at Watkins Glen and the one this one focuses on which is uh, Road America at Elkhart Lake and the formula for Ford 50th anniversary. Did a little something different here with this one. I tried to combine both Dennis's in-car video and my in-car video by lap. Uh, so I'm sure it's going to be confusing as heck. JD's car is number 13, the yellow, JD Stewart. I borrowed his car, if you will, and I wanted to get this shot in here. The cars never look so good, and it ran great too, JD. Dennis, I like this shot for some reason because it shows the 83 nuts chasing them. <laughs> Uh, I threw these in here to, tell, to help you keep track of which lap we're on, so this is the start of the race. So I'll be uh, talking during most of the in-car camera shots, whether it's Dennis's car or mine, because of the wind noise uh, for the cameras. And, uh, for whatever reason, you can't really hear the motors anyway. Uh, the exterior shots, which my wife shoots from down in turn 5, uh, will be a map here, you can see that in a minute. Uh, native audio for most of those. Dennis has a couple nice corners with a blue and white car on his right and then another car here uh, the turquoise and red one right in front of him there just a little bit of turquoise you can see I think that card number two I'm not sure his name. This is a shot uh, going down the marine suite underneath the Sargento bridge onto uh, turn five and turn five is where my wife will shoot those exterior shots. I think we'll uh, edit one of those clips in right after uh, after we get through the turn here. And as the caption indicates, this is the start of my race. Uh, that yellow car in front of me is number 101. Um, I think we'll see a lot of him. Uh, he passes me once or twice. I pass him, hopefully. <laughs> I guess so if he's going to pass me. There's a blue and green car. I don't remember too much about him. That's uh, turn one. We'll uh, pretty much do the same thing as we did with Dennis's uh, first lap here. We'll go down through uh, the Moraine Sweep here. This is turn three, actually. And then um, into turn five. And then we'll have some exterior footage of that, turn five, and then we'll pick up the lap, this first lap after that. So I'm going to show you pretty much the whole first lap of cars. Oh, look at that. I'm passing somebody. <laughs> I passed a few cars, not a whole lot. Um, I think I finished about 37th today out of the 83 cars. There goes 101 on my right there. But it's pretty congested up in here, and I'm being careful, as you can tell. Didn't want to get the... Or JD's car's uh, nose snapped off. Oh, there goes 101 back by. And let's pick up some native audio on that clip. Okay, turn, coming out of turn five, we're back in Dennis's car. Dennis is in the red car with the black helmet. I'm in the yellow car with the white helmet. Uh, so it should be pretty easy to tell which car we're in. Uh, Dennis is heading down into um, Hurry Downs, I believe is the name of this corner, turn eight. And that'll take us back onto the back of the carousel or around the carousel. Down with back straight which isn't that straight as the King Kennet and Kettle Bottoms. Uh, that's that red and turquoise car that's in front of Dennis right now and not a whole lot to say about the, this part of the lap but I didn't want to get at least most of one full lap in here uh, just for brevity's sake uh, most of the rest of the laps are uh, just chopped off to or edited out to where uh, we have a little action somebody passing somebody this is in the, can the corner, turn 12. It's moving around quite a bit. 
Dennis was pretty good through uh, 13 here and 14. I think he's going to pass him back on the on the uh, front straight, so we'll stay uh, in car here. Yeah, I can see already he's kind of setting him up here. And that car, yeah, he got on the curb, but he's fine. But yeah, Dennis is going to be able to draft him up here, I think, and pass him into the first lap. Right in front of friends and family, right in front of the stands. Everybody, uh Pretty much uh, either right here at start finish or over in turn five. All right, and as you can tell, we've switched to my uh, first lap, and this is turn coming up out of um, turn five, and so we're in six seven now and headed over towards the carousel. And I'm being pretty careful, but I think I'm going to get a run, and I probably do pass one or two of these guys right here. I want to go inside there, but. I just know that guy's going to close the door on me. And so I decide I'm going to follow the yellow car, I believe. No, I can't do that here. I probably blast the black one here on the inside, yeah. I think I remember this. This is the kink, and I was getting close to keeping it on the floor all the way around, but not quite. And now we're headed down the back kettle bottoms into Canada corner and onto the final two turns onto the front straight here. Uh, really took me a while to get used to driving this car. Uh, Formula Fords don't have that much horsepower obviously. They don't have any downforce. They don't have a lot of torque in the motor. Uh, I don't know what the horsepower is but yeah, the speeds, top speeds are pretty good. You'll see they're over 110, 120 or so here. But uh, you really have to learn to uh, manage the momentum of the car. And it took me the whole weekend to figure that out. So I ended up having my best lap today. But I'm still 10 seconds off or 6 or 8 seconds off the best. And we'll uh, switch here. That's the end of the first lap. We'll have a little lap 2 marker here. And then we'll pick up uh, on the next lap. Uh, again, I'll probably keep pointing out the captions. Um, we skipped Dennis's whole second lap because uh, he just happened to be in a gap and there was really nothing to show. And so we've skipped ahead to my second lap and we're headed down the uh, moraine sweep into turn five. And as you can see, I just uh, passed a car and uh, I'm not sure what else happens here. We'll, I'll watch with you. Just going into turn five. I am seeing a cluster of cars and thinking I'm closing on them pretty quickly. I'm going to get a couple more passes. I think I mentioned I finished 37th. I think I started like 52nd or so. So I had a pretty good day for a complete amateur. Carousel, the uh, yellow 101 is just uh, stop ahead of the red car. He almost ran over him, as you saw, uh, going up the hill out of turn five into turn six. And I'm pretty sure I'll get a good run on him here through the kink and onto the marine sweep here and pass him again. Hopefully he'll uh, not hold me up and just let me draft him. And I think he does. I think, yeah, I think he even points me by. There he did. Yeah, I remember that. Thank you. I don't know who that was. There's 101 on my left. I'm trying to learn from him. He wasn't too bad uh, with the cars. This is the end of the second lap for both Dennis and I, really. We'll uh, switch to the third lap here, I think. Yep, here we go. And we'll probably be back in Dennis's car. Let's see where we're at. Uh, at the very beginning, I um, wonder why I'm showing you the whole lap. I don't know. We're almost the whole lap. We'll see what happens here. Ah, there's why. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> uh, Dennis's buddy yeah, was able to draft him coming up the uh, the hill, the front straight, and pass him here. I'm pretty sure Dennis uh, will stay here. I'm pretty sure Dennis is going to pass him back, uh, probably uh, going down into turn five. Those are the, 
the favorite uh, or easiest passing area is down into turn five here, the one that we just saw, which was into turn one on the front straight, and then also uh, after the carousel and into uh, Canada Corner. It's not too bad of a passing area. And as you can see, Dennis kind of blew right by him. I don't think the guy's going to pass him again here. Uh, i got some native audio here, exterior shot. So we've just come out of turn five and six, and we're headed over to the Canada corner. Uh, there's that uh, blue car uh, passing me. I think he did once already, and I passed him back. There's 101 right in front of me, who I'm trying to follow, but he got held up by that other car, so I pass him again. I got to find out what his name was. <laughs> I hope he enjoyed the race as much as I did. And I think I'm going to get by the blue car here. I know, no, just the black car. Could have pressed the issue with the blue car, but uh, not worth it. Uh, this is kind of the end of lap three. We'll probably be jumping ahead to lap four. That was all the action in this lap. Yeah, here comes our uh, lap four indicator right here. And we're going to skip ahead a little bit. I think we're switching to Dennis's car. Yeah, he's getting passed by that yellow and blue car again on the front straight. And probably similar to the previous lap, Dennis will stay right behind him and draft him and and pass him into turn uh, five, I believe, here. So we'll watch that. And I think uh, as a good spot, I'll try to turn the volume up here and let's, watch, let's hear the car from inside despite the wind noise. saw this car right here we're, we're moving on to the end of the fourth lap but as you saw there in turn five he got pretty wide out there on the rumble strips probably gave Dennis a little start so we're out of turn 14 final straight Dennis is right behind him drafting him big time here and he'll go back by him and we're moving to the fifth lap uh, thought that'd be the last one but we actually end up doing six and these next two clips will be native audio. Dennis was uh, thinking the race is over here and uh, he got a little wide on the rumble strap, goose the throttle or flinched, I'm not sure which, really a very simple mistake and uh, put it in the wall, you probably heard the thunk. We're jumping down to my end car video and I see this car and I'm like alright, fifth lap, I'm, I'm going to pass one more car before I, f I finish this route. Who is that? Oh, no, look at that thing sticking up in the air there. Oh, it's Dennis. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the thoughts that went through my head. And that's what it looked like. Thankfully, no serious damage, you know. Just bent the, 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 I guess you can call it a wing up a little bit. We're jumping to the sixth lap. Obviously, Dennis didn't get the finish, but I did. Um, this is the beginning of it, just for the sake of it. And there's one more little bit of excitement in turn five. We're 
guy. Final lap, one of the last uh, t turns, or at least half a lap to go, and he uh, goes in a little too hot. Checkered flag. What a weekend. What a trip. Watkins Glen, Road America. This photo, as well as many of the others, says it all. We just had a blast. I uh, can't imagine matching this trip, but we'll try. Maybe at VIR and uh, some other track down south.